now 50 of our best and brightest young men and women who play intercounty Gaelic games are in Kenya at the moment in uh, taking part in the Plant for the Planet games the games of the brainchild of Warriors for Humanity founder and former Galway Jewel player Alan Kearns. I'm delighted to say we have Damien Comer, Neve O'Sullivan and Alan Kearns with us. There's a bit of a delay on the line, guys, so I might just ask you a fairly open-ended question. Alan, I'm going to start with you. Uh, just tell us a little bit about uh, how this all came about and how you're getting on. Yeah, I'm getting on great. Uh, been an amazing trip so far. We're just here in, in E10 in, uh, in St. Patrick's School with Brother Cullum. Uh, who trained David Rodisha? He trained 35 world champions and seven Olympic champions. And Barreras here with us this morning. And we ran with the Kenyans this morning as well, including the 10,000 meter road record holder. So we had an amazing morning. And I suppose an amazing week, but we, we played the first ever inter county game in Kenya. And we've won the ambassadors here from um, all four codes. Uh, or, or, Right, unfortunately the line is not playing ball with that one. Um, who knew that the Skype connection to Kenya, Kenya would be wouldn't be great. <laughs> we tried. We, we might try and get it back in a second to see if the, the line can establish. This happens sometimes with the, um, I mean I'm not, I'm not a technician, but it's something to do with the condensing of the signal and then the reanimation of it. Mm, that's a long way to go forth and back. Um, but 50 of them uh, the first ever intercounty game in Kenya fairly historic not to be said there um, were pictures of David Risha there yesterday which was, was very impressive Alan I think I think we're going to try and, and we have you back you were just saying there that um, it's been a great week so far what's the, the point of the trip yeah I suppose the point is uh, play the first ever intercounty game in Kenya but the players and create history but also leave a huge legacy the players have raised 10,000 euros and that would plant 1 million trees which would benefit the climate but also hundreds of thousands of families who would live off these trees food crops cash crop and many many more benefits Damien what was it actually like? Uh, it's a surreal experience though. it's something I um, would have never obviously experienced before just to see the I suppose the poverty that's out here but the smiles on kids faces the people are so nice so welcoming and just interacting with them planting trees, interacting with them, dancing, singing, just the culture is unbelievable out here. And it's, yeah, it's been amazing so far. Um, Neve, uh, did anybody beat any of the Kenyan runners? That's the most important <laughs> question here. Uh, no, we're not that good. Um, look, it was as Stanley said, so far it's been a surreal experience. Um, you know, I think a lot of us were dreading the six o'clock run this morning, um, but like the athletes were fantastic. Um, they really pushed us hard and it was like an unbelievable experience. And um, one I'll definitely uh, won't forget. From your own perspective, Neil, why did you get involved in this? What was it that you thought, yeah, actually, I will do this? Well, they convinced her. They didn't run here beside me, right? Um, and just explained the whole project and why we were doing it. And I, you know, you just couldn't say no to Alan, but even just the whole um, history uh, behind it and, you know, to be part of this legacy of. You know, planting one million trees um, and to be also part of the first intercounty game uh, of like all four codes um, and look we're it's we're having a lot of fun and everyone's getting on with each other and you know um, it's just been brilliant so yeah it was an offer I couldn't refuse. And um, where did the idea come from? I suppose you know and Jerry, I've been working in Africa for 17 years now and I suppose Huge passion of mine, but also GA is a huge passion. And uh, I always had a dream, I suppose, of bringing a revision of bringing an inter county game or an all star trip or some kind of game to Kenya. And this is what it merged into. And I suppose it was triggered here in E10 with Brother Colum when I was here in 2014. And we're just talking about bringing groups out here. And it wouldn't be great to bring GA guys out here to, to learn from the Kenyans and run with them. So uh, it kind of all merged into the Plant the Planet game as well to, to make a difference, but also have a number. Uh, uh, like we all know. Sport and music is a is a universal language to connect people on a human level, and as well as the guys have experienced that pure connection with the Kenyans and the Africans, and they've been blown away by it, which is amazing. And they've been hugely proud of the players and leaders on and off the pitch. Like, I'm sure it's raised bro- raise huge money, but it make a huge difference. I'm sure it's uh, broadened the horizons as well, Damien. Like that's something that that I'm sure has. Uh, really stuck home like uh, you get caught up in training and, and work and, and modern day life and then you go, go over something like there and it, it really puts things in perspective I guess uh, 100% yeah it's huge usually like, you, you give out about the little things at home and then you come out here and you see how they live and their culture and like just how they get by with limited resources 
like from from walking miles every day to get water and wash bringing clothes down to the, the river to wash their clothes and like we have it on we have it on our doorstep at home like and then like trying to impact and, and help these families for the future and trying to make their lives e- easier is, is massive and i suppose having that having done that and leaving that legacy out here and, and being part of it is something that you'll cherish for life has the have the actual intercounty games taken place have you have you played matches yet neve yeah, we played on Sunday. Um, yeah, it was brilliant. Uh, a lot of footballers tried to hurl him, and vice versa, the hurlers tried to football. So, look, we had a bit of crack. Um, wasn't competitive at all. I don't believe um, you. Okay, that's the bit. That's it. We're getting there. Who who won? Yeah. No, it was a fantastic experience. No one got injured. Yeah. <laughs> that's I mean, th- I don't believe that either. I'd say somebody's coming home with like slightly bruised ribs, but hasn't told anybody yet for fear of like uh, losing face. We we know what it's like. And Alan, the idea to plant the trees and and specifically to be involved in um, climate change because like clearly it's the single most important global story that uh, we still can't get agreement on at government level. But actually, uh, people doing stuff and talking about this in this way hopefully keeps the story front and central. And it is going to impact all of us for the rest of our lives forever. So um, where did that, when did you decide that that was going to be the, the most important thing for you to focus on? Yeah, I suppose I, I work with a great organisation called Self of Africa. And they do this with Linisk and others planting a million trees. And, and also the benefits that the trees are not just planted for the livelihood, are not just planted for the climate, they're linked to livelihoods where families are trained and educated to live off these trees. Uh, food crops, cash crops, uh, rehabilitation, degraded soil, uh, etc. So there's a huge amount of benefits. And you're just talking there about a lot of talk, but we believe in it's now time to take action. And this is we, we've taken action, and the players have taken action, and we hope that creates awareness. You know, you know, talking, you talk is cheap, so the players actually don't raise the ten grand uh, to plant the, to, to accumulate into that together to plant one million trees. And that's uh, you know, th- these are huge, huge role models in society. And uh, the ripple effect of their actions hopefully will trigger many, many more to do similar. Yeah. Tammy, is this something you've been involved in before, like a, a level of activism or something? Is this kind of, again, you know, I think Shane's talking about like um, the idea of going traveling is something he's done lots of. And, and definitely once you start getting that bug, but also deciding that you have a platform and a voice around stuff that isn't just like, how do you think the game is going to go at the weekend? What's the story with the manager? How is the, are you in favour or against the advanced mark? Like something actually deeper and more community based. Yeah, no, it's, not, it's, it's, it's my first time doing something like this. Um, it's funny, I'm actually in the middle of my travels. I've been travelling a few weeks ago went to Thailand during Vietnam and Cambodia. So I flew from Thailand and wasn't really sure where I'd be in the world at that stage. Um, but I was like, it was too big of an opportunity and it was um, something that I always wanted to do. Never thought I would get the chance to do it, but very fortunate that Alan went ahead with this and with an amazing group that we were out here and just having that having that experience and being able to take part in something huge and massive personally and as and as a group is, is special. And even just... I can't get over like honestly the, the kids are so lovely out here like you'd actually love to bring a few of them home which would give them a, a real good chance at life because like they're even in schools I'm a teacher at home and they're so they're so well got in school they're so they're so smart they're learning subjects through English which is not their first language and they're so well behaved they do everything they're told and like they're coming from nothing that's I, I can't get my head around how how good they are and how well behaved they are and how happy they are. They're going around. Some of them are going around with shoes. Some are going around not wearing any shoes. And just they have the brightest smile on their face. It's 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 infectious and it's just it's really really heartwarming. Yeah, Neve. What about you? Is has it awoken something? I know the LGFA um, through the Lidl ads have really highlighted the fact that uh, female participation in sport needs better investment. And so it's kind of an activist. Uh, part of the LGFA almost baked in on a personal level is this going to make a difference to you do you think? Yeah definitely uh, like Damien said like it's definitely one thing I always wanted to do uh, probably didn't think I get the chance to do it and thankfully Alan uh, rang me and um, asked me would I join um, the trip and look it's been fantastic like Damien I'm a teacher as well and you know visiting the schools there yesterday like it just you know brings it home that like we're so lucky to what we have back home in Ireland but like you know there's one girl in particular who wants to do medicine and to see her say that to us yes you know yesterday was fantastic like she wants to go on and become a, a doctor and you know 
you know, they're doing like ample work here in, in Kenya for the kids. And, you know, as Amy said, you know, some of them have um, jackets and shoes and other kids don't. And it's just, it does um, bring you back down to earth times and makes you really appreciate what you have in, uh, at home. Well, listen, the line has, uh, has, has stood up long enough. Alan Cairns, Neva Sullivan and Damien Comer, Damien, Damien Comer, thanks a million to the three of you for making time for us this morning and enjoy the rest of your trip. Cheers, folks. Thanks, guys. Thanks, 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 thanks. Thank you.